so when there's a void in our life, there's something that fills it that doesn't leak out in a sense, because I believe that the devil between what you have and what you what you need is that gap. And when he gets you to fill it, he quickly is gone. Yeah, we're going to talk about that today. We'll be right back. Morning, welcome to Wake Up. I'm Pastor Web Food, where we wake up. <laughs> I blew it. Pastor Scott. It's good to have you with us today. Oh, you are looking fabulous, and it's going to be an epic day. If you're a new subscriber, type in where you're from. We'd like to read that on Wednesdays. And most importantly, hit that notification button. That's right. And then you get the little, what's the sound it makes? <laughs> It'll tell you when we got a new episode coming out. Uh, but today we're talking about never enough. Never enough. It's never enough. So, you know, Satan's going to try and invent needs in your life because he loves to play on the playground of your needs. He wants to fill your needs with things that will lead you to destruction, but they, they're Band-Aids. Okay. They actually fill the need for now. I mean, the reason people fall into addictions and the wrong relationships and stealing and lying and breaking our own character, the reason we fall into these things is because it's fun. He creates <laughs> it. Isn't that funny? Because he creates a need where they And I got this from you years ago. I remember this. It was one of my favorite sermons. He creates needs where there is no needs. So, yeah. So you're in the garden of Eden. You have no needs. No needs. And what does the devil do? Creates a need with an E. Yeah. And in that... He's like, hey, God's holding out on you. You don't actually have all the wisdom and knowledge you could have. So when you try to... Eat this fruit. Void, so she's trying to fill the void of wisdom rather than saying, wait, God gives me wisdom. He's like, she. he, he goes, you can be like God. Ooh. She's already like God. She's already made in his likeness and image. It's so funny how Satan... You know what you already have. Satan wants to move in your realm of needs. Right. Yep. And so he is, he's a marketer. And uh, when you try to fill that need, it's a void. So we're in a really good story uh, this week, Jason. Uh, you were talking about the woman at the well. And, and this woman, uh, Jesus encounters, finds out, that he well, he reveals, he doesn't find out because he already knows. He reveals that she's had multiple uh, men that she's lived with. And uh, she's been trying to fill the need and the void in her life with men. Right. Right. That's that's the need. It's a need. I need a man in my life. So she fills it with all these different wrong relationships. And, and Jesus comes to her and says, listen, I got something for you. It's better. Yeah. He doesn't condemn her for how she's been living her life. He just says, I'll fill the need. So Jesus says in uh, 413, Jesus answered, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. So once again, you went out and you went to the bar and you got your conquests because that was fulfilling the need. Yeah. But then the next day you woke up and you were once again empty. You're thirsty again. You're thirsty again. It's never enough. You didn't, it wasn't enough. You went out and you're like, okay, I, I need to buy that new purse for whatever, that Louis purse, right? That's going to make me happy. That would make me happy. <laughs> Give it to my wife. She would love it. For how long? A, a day. A day. It's never enough. It's, and then the next day you need to fill it again. Yeah. And I'm not against buying stuff. I'm against buying stuff feeling like it's going to fulfill a need. I'm against... Uh, uh, the devil convincing you that what you have is not enough, so I have to spend money I don't have on things that I don't need and sabotaging things that God wants to do in my future. Or we also look at the the things that God has given us and we, we see it as not enough. Well, the marriage he gave you can fulfill you in every way, but you see that marriage is not enough. You'll start to have need. You'll start to feel empty. In your family, same thing. In your job, you used to love that job, and now you've gotten bitter towards it because they've been mean to you. And so now it's not enough. The thing that you were thankful for is no longer meeting your needs. And now what's going to happen is Satan's going to try and get in there where that need is, and he's going to try and wreck that thing. And here's, here's, a, here's, a, here's a thing that a lot of marriages struggle, is they feel like the gap is between their spouse needs to fill the gap. I'm not saying that we don't do things for one another, but I'm saying ultimately Jesus fills the gap. So if you think you're sure. going to fulfill all of your needs. No, never. I, God said, I will meet your needs. Meet your needs. And then you take all the abundance that he gives you and you give that to your spouse. And then you got two people doing that. Now everybody's needs is full. So Jesus is talking about a water where you don't thirst again. He's, he's saying, I've got something that you need and you won't have need anymore if you can drink from what I have. That's so cool. So he, wants to, he wants to fill you up so that you never have a need again. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spray of water. I've never saw that. This really is ministering to me. So when we get it in us, 
what happens when you have a string? It never runs out. So now I... It comes I, from the fam. Encouragement from God. Oh, I may preach on this. It's beautiful. And now it just constantly is flowing encouragement out everywhere I go. Yeah. It just flows. Now I have love. Now I can give love. Because when you receive what God has, it's eternal. It just, but it just keeps bumping. It never runs out. It's never runs out. Eternal. Yeah, I never run out of joy. I don't run out of... Uh, he gives you eternal tears. Come on, somebody. Oh, that's so fortunate. I'm already here to speak it. Um, do we go? Is that the end of it? Yeah. And so the same thing for you. Or is that the end? Sir, give me this water so that I won't get... I guess not. I guess I had more scripture. ...here to draw water. Yeah. And then you find out that she's been married in the number of times. She's thrown herself so then. And what's interesting is this water gets in her and it changes the whole town. Yeah, she ran. Would Jesus pretend ye that eternal water... That eternal joy, that eternal peace begins to change your family around you. She went and gave that water to her town and, and changed them. And that's really the process, isn't it? We receive from God what he has, and then we give it to others so that they can have what, what God gave you. Freely we receive, we freely give. Did you learn something today? How awesome. Did you receive something? I just encourage you to partner with us and uh, learn to give back. We It just helps us reach more people with this message. It does. And we so appreciate our partners. And giving is the same way. Like, when it, if you give your money to Amazon, it doesn't reap a harvest. No. There's no, there's no well springing up. Well, you do get boxes at the door, though. Oh, I love those. But they, they, they're never enough. No, I always open it up. But I always, I, it's so funny, is I always forget what I order. <laughs> it's I, like a little gift. And then I'm like... I think we all do. Yeah, I like. What is this? I, I, cause I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I ordered like, that. You know what? I was thinking about me a couple days ago. I like, <laughs> sent myself something into the future. She's like, what is? That? I'm like, I honestly don't know, but I can't wait to find out what I was. And I'm like, oh my god, it's talking. I'm so good. I'm so thoughtful. <laughs> this is it for me. Well, I don't know the hell I'm like. The hell is that from? You would be very deep into the into the world of cartoons if you knew that. What was it again? He's uh he's uh it's it's it, it's a birthday gift for me from me. Oh, I love it. No, 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 no. Oh, I know it. I know what movie that is. That's uh, Emperor's New Groove. Hey, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Do you know that movie? If you don't, you need to watch it because it's keen insight into who we are as pastors. <laughs> yes. We're we're literally made out of the ingredients of that movie. <laughs> David speak. It's so good. Take a couple of Emperor's New Groove. A teaspoon of Monty Python's Holy Grail. Oh, stir it. Add Braveheart in it. Braveheart. Yeah, a little bit for me at least. You sprinkle some Braveheart in there somewhere. Uh, so do it. Hey, uh, I'll pray over. Did we pray over yet? No. Oh, dear Father, Lord, we thank you and praise you, Lord, that you fill our needs, Lord. That we're gonna stop going to the world, but instead we go to you. And out of that, that spring of living water will flow out of us. And the need that we had that you fill, we begin to fill other people up around us. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody said amen. Amen. I close my eyes, but when I pray, I leave my eyes open. You're right. I forget. I, I forgot that we even did that survey. Dad jokes. I need my glasses. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Hey, that's nacho cheese. <laughs> you did my joke. I couldn't resist. I'm not the one to brag. Oh, this is you too. No, no, this is me. Yeah. I'm not one to brag about my finances, but my bank calls me almost every day to tell me my account balance is outstanding. It's <laughs> really good. How does a penguin build its house? It glues it together. <laughs> he glues it. Waiter, will my piece to be long? No, sir. It will be. It will be round. Whoa. And so you have to get the attitude inside of you is, yes, I can't do it, but I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I am enough, and I have enough, but we have to stop chasing. Oftentimes, you know, parents are just chasing stuff for their children. I want to give them everything I didn't have as a child. Yeah, give them you. Give them time with you. Go out and throw a ball with them. Take them to the park. You don't have to buy them hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of presents, right? You buy your toilet Christmas. You bought them hundreds of dollars worth of presents, more gifts than you can imagine, and they're over there in the corner playing with a box. Am I right? They go to the Tupperware, and they're playing with Tupperware. You're like, well, we could have just spent, you know, five bucks at the dollar store. Exactly. That is the point that we spend and we're killing ourselves to buy stuff that d it may be what they want, but it is not what they need. What are you doing here? Go, do. Have a great day. Keep blessed. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.